All right, for this hot air balloon project, I want you to notice that it's actually it's two pieces. Um, it has the balloon part up there, and then it has a little basket, and it actually has a little person in there too. All right. You're gonna color your balloon however you want to color it. You can use colored pencils, markers, crayons. If you want to do the scallop look, so see how this one has the straight lines down, but this one has a little scallop, kind of like spider, like Spider-Man thing, this little spider web. If you want to do that. All you have to do is take your marker, it can be any color. You're going to start um, on one edge and you're going to make a little flat rainbow, a little flat rainbow to the same height. And then you're going to go to the next line, make another little rainbow. The next one is a big one. And then make two more rainbows. Then you're going to come down a little bit, just depending on how far you want it. Then you're just going to color it again. If you're using markers, please don't color big areas with the marker, but you can make shapes. Maybe you want to make some triangles. And if you make shapes, then those you can color with a marker so you're not wasting a marker. And then the background of that, you can color with a colored pencil or a crayon. Now you're going to need some scissors. You're going to cut it, this out. All right, the next thing you're going to need is a little piece of string. So what you're going to do also is get a rectangle of paper, all right? This rectangle is going to become your basket when you fold it over. Remember that the fold is going to go at the bottom so your people don't fall out and die. You don't want to kill them. All right, you're also going to need um, two little pieces of tape. So I like to use this masking tape. And that is to attach your basket to your balloon. You can turn your paper over, turn this one over. You're going to take the two ends together and you're going to put those near the bottom of your balloon. Okay, put them close to the bottom of the balloon. Keep them together and then put one piece of tape right here and then press down really hard so it doesn't move. You don't want that to move. All right. Now comes the other part. Turn, flip your um, hot air balloon back. The now you have your basket. All right, so you're gonna open the basket. This is important, okay? Remember, you turned this around so the balloon is facing up, and now you have your basket. Open your basket and kind of tuck the basket, the back part of it, underneath the string, okay? You leave room for your little person, and then tape this little curvy part also to the basket and press down really hard. Okay, now you want to close your basket. You're going to use a glue stick. And on your glue stick, you only have to put glue on one edge and then on the other edge. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on this side and a little bit of glue on this side. Remember, you do not need to open this up all the way. You want to fold this back up, press down on the edges really nicely to seal that. Do not put any glue on the top part because then you can't put your person in there. All right, so there's that. We're gonna move on to the person now. So you're gonna get a little piece of paper like this and you can just draw your person. If you wanna draw a stick person, that's okay. Draw your stick person. So there's my person. Now the easy way to do this is to just take your person and tuck him right there into your basket. Ta -da! If you want to get a little bit fancier, you can try to cut this person out. And now, I can put my little person back in the basket like that. 